I'm excited. I'm just going to make some breakfast real quick and then head out for a hike with the puppies. I'm gonna come back and do some legal work and then go out with some friends for just to hang out and whatnot. And then, yeah, having some friends over tomorrow. My sister's in town this weekend, gonna do poker night with the family. Um, so it'll be a really fun weekend. And I also wanna show you some of James's projects progress he has been adding they're adding like another almost 4,000 square feet to their winery so I'm really excited I want to bring you guys behind the scenes for that too so I'm gonna make my breakfast if you didn't see I had a healthy habits video a couple videos back for spring um, so I'll link that in the description box below if you want to see like what I usually do for breakfast but it's so simple and quick and I'm going to get that ready and get going because I have a little ember baby. I have a little ember princess. I have a little ember princess who's waiting for me to finish breakfast so that we, and a little Molly, so that we can go on a hike. <laughs> so they're very, very anxious for us to get going, huh, babies? Yes, we're going to go see the goat babies. We're going to see all the goat babies. Yes, I know we're so excited. Okay, give mommy a moment. Mommy's going to have breakfast, and then we will go. <laughs> Molly, no stealing laundry. Molly, yes. Molly likes to steal all the laundry. I'm doing, I'm in the middle of doing laundry too. Yes, I know, you guys are so excited. You're so excited. <laughs> Ember, did you watch my Healthy Habits video and you want some too? I'm a num num and the princess, you had your breakfast. Look at all the puppy breakfast bowls. You had your breakfast, bunny. Molly? I think Molly actually. Molly, did you steal a sock? Come here, bunny. Molly's got a sock. They, oh. She doesn't do anything with them. She just likes to have them and steal them. I don't know why. Bear is, Bear is just tuckered out. He's sleeping, so I think he's gonna stay home when we go for the hike. Poor baby. Oh, no, no. <laughs> also, how cute is he? Like, I just still can't believe he got me some magnolias. How sweet is that? He's just the most thoughtful human ever, and we love him so much. This is my outfit for the day of hiking, a little bit of work, and a little bit of construction projects. This is from my winter basics haul that I did a YouTube video about. So this is um, one of the Intimissimi shirts that I got that I'm in love with, and this is Lululemon's le Lululemon leggings. Um, and then I just have my, it's pretty cold outside, so you know we go from athletic chic to a little bit more farmer let me see if i want to wear this jacket or my other jacket this is like more nicer farm jacket um and then my other one is like real farm jacket so let me see maybe for the construction site i'll get that don't mind our dressing room um here we go we're still painting the walls so let's see hello babies i know i wear a lot of black um it's like my winter staple but i'm feeling farmer today because i'm going to be feeding the goats and stuff and just taking care of them and then i'll be at the barn and everything so yeah this is this is my vibe for today this is a carhartt by the way <laughs> so this is like not fashionable whatsoever but great for farming and very nice and warm which is what i'm super happy about and then maybe um i'm meeting up with my friends later so maybe when i meet up with my friends to be determined i usually stick to farm if i'm in a farm mood i usually stick to that um but i also have this so let's try this on all the black. I have so many black jackets, but actually I think I might wear this for when I hang out with my friends and everything, but um, I'm going to have that in the truck so that when I hang out with goats and everything, I'm still in my farm wear. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you not even ready because you're so excited? Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, I say let's go and they both go nuts. 
<laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna go. Yes, yes, yes. Bear, are you awake? Oh, honey, bunny, no jumpy, please. No, no bitey, no bitey either. Molly, no. Molly, no. Thank you. Yes, go get a bone. Go get a bone. Go get a bone. Go get a bone. No. Bear wants to go, clearly. So I'm gonna go get him. I have to carry him down the stairs, which is not easy. Bear, I'm coming. Before we do anything else, we must first see to all of our good babies. Yes. Hello, good babies. Hello, babies. I know. It's so good to see you. Huh? Oh, hello, firm baby. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are we ready? Are you ready for the day? Yeah. Good oh, baby. They know exactly where to go. <laughs> They're so cute. I did put a little feed for them. Give them a little bit of extra nutrients, although there's tons of grass coming in, so they have plenty to keep them busy. So, we will get them taken care of and go see James. Bye, Anise. We love you. Poor little Cleo. Her, her like, part of her horn right there chipped off and I don't know how I don't know if she got herself tangled in something she's always out of the pen or if they had a little disagreement about something but bye go babies love you hello hi yes bunnies let's go see your daddy huh can I come in can I sit with you can I come sit with you thank you they literally go everywhere with me. I love you. Okay, let's go see Daddy. Look how beautiful it is. So this is all the heating that goes under all the concrete? Yep. So what is it under here? You laid the There's stone, stone and then a water vapor barrier, which is just black plastic. Mm -hmm. And then this bubble wrap insulated stuff. Mm -hmm. And then taped all the seams to it and then put this grid down and then the heat pipes and the pour concrete. Pull the heat pipes up into the concrete. Okay, so the concrete just goes right on top of this. Oh, cool. So you already mapped out all of your drains and everything that you needed? Oh, well, that's amazing. Looks beautiful. Looks so good. And then it all goes into, what is this, a manifold? It'll be a manifold, but yeah. Are these all the pipes that are going to go on the manifold? No, that's... What is this? Clamps for... Oh, just clamps? Oh, okay. They look like pipes. So this is the manifold. In the other room, they have, like, a little fireplace that shows it all. And they just have a little bit left. Just right here. Well, if it isn't, we're gonna go get pipes. Huh? If it isn't, we're gonna have to go get more. Okay. Level of space? I don't know. I don't. What do you want to do? Well, that last one just did.
Wait, do you guys see that? That like massive mound over there on the hill is all of the clippings so far that have been pulled from the vineyard. That's absolutely insane. I don't know if you can see that, but that is like almost as big as a house. Definitely bigger than a shed. <laughs> We are about to go off on our hike, but first I had to show you James's little handiwork and our new flower. Woo! Oh my god. I don't know if that's Molly's or if that was just there. <laughs> um, but look, so James built up these stones that he found an old picture of the garden over here, and all of this stonework was built up. It must have just gotten washed away or misplaced or moved around kind of over the years. Um, and then we were doing a bunch of raking and everything and all of these flowers are starting to come in. Oh jeez, details. And I wanted to show you up here too because some more of our flowers are starting to come in. We're about to get, we're about to do some planting at Flourish. So it's a nice part of spring. But look at all of our beautiful flowers that are coming in. And these blue little babies. They're so cute. And they're coming in over here too. Look, I don't even know what all these are. But they look so cute. Molly, I don't know if the... Oh, okay. You do what you want, Molly. Okay, and then let's go see our magnolia tree. Good girl, Mom. Show the way. Show us the way. Oh, our magnolia tree is flowering beautifully. Oh, I can't wait until this is fully flowering. It is so pretty. This is our driveway. So this is kind of like where all the cars get parked and everything. There's our barn up there. Molly's got a tree, a little tree limb. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's turning a little bit nicer and sunnier out. I figure we could catch up a little bit as we go on our hike. So, oh, wait. I think you need to clean. Hold on a second. Okay. So, I figured as we go for a hike, pardon all of the dust and everything. I have a feeling that me putting you in my pocket when I'm always like having hay in there it's not good so I'm sorry if it's all um all messed up but so I figured we would catch up for a minute um first off last night I cannot believe that James brought vitamins to the bar so after we had dinner I'm literally drinking my bourbon and ginger ale and he hands me vitamins if you didn't see the last vlog it's in the last vlog or one of the last vlogs <laughs> I'll link it in the description box below but love him he's a cutie he is such a cutie but I'm about to go to flourish we are going to plant some little plant babies um, that we, whenever we have events and everything at Flourish, that we give away. I'm like getting winded walking up this giant hill. Um, but I'm gonna go to Flourish with Katie and Melia, and we're going to plant little plant babies for spring that we give away for our events at Flourish. So, <laughs> this is a little bit of the I forget if I vlogged this or if, or what but this is um, the demo work that James and I did he cut some of the um, logs up and I pulled them all in here hi girls Woo. so I have been reading some amazing books I've been reading How to Be a Good Boss by Gina Wickman and Brene, I believe it's Rowan. I'll link it in the description box below. But I am just literally absolutely obsessed with the book. It's so good. I definitely feel like one of the greatest challenges that I've had 
in entrepreneurship has been managing others. I'm a good leader. I'm very, very good strategically of setting the course for the companies and developing the strategy and like getting people excited about what we're doing and whatnot, but managing people is extremely hard or it, it, is it extremely hard? It's challenging. It's definitely challenging and it's not something intuitive to me because I'm not like a, I'm not like a people pleaser in that regard and managing people, it's actually bad to be a people pleaser, but like, I think it's just hard for me to confront people and you could just kind of have to do that as part of management. You have to have accountability and if there's hard conversations, you have to have hard conversations. And I found that having hard conversations actually sometimes leads to some of our best performers because, you know, you give them an opportunity to change the behavior that's not working. And that in some instances has led to some of our best people on our team. So how to manage people or how to be a good boss rather is a really, really, really good book that I'm reading right now. And I'm like about to geek out. Like I feel like, I don't know how many of the library halls that you guys have seen on here, but I feel the need to just go ham and get so many like spring planting books and everything at the library and I'm just obsessed with the fact that I can like <coughs> don't know if they just saw a groundhog or what Molly come here come here Molly you okay did you get bit? Sit. Sit. Are you okay? Let me see your face. Are you okay? What happened? What happened? Are you bit? Are you hurt? My guess is they just saw a groundhog and the groundhog wasn't very happy to see them so yeah I think I'm gonna go ham and get a bunch of like planting and books and everything like that because ah uh, Molly do you see this Molly she literally just made that like as if it was a swimming hole and it's not a swimming hole I was just about to tell you more about my books and Molly has found Another mud puddle. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. So, what I'm excited about is I'm just excited that it's feeling like spring and we are going to have lots of planning that we're doing starting today. And I wanna get some books on cut flowers and everything. So, I just feel like I'm very into like some book hauls. So that's gonna be the plan. And in terms of business, it's been interesting. So we just got absolutely crushed over the holidays with Flourish. Like so many places started stronger COVID restrictions and everything. And we had like 80 to 90% of our members canceled their membership over the holidays. Um, for so many reasons, mostly COVID or travel or whatnot. So we just got absolutely crushed with Flourish. So what we're trying to do is really increase our outreach. We've always had a PR and marketing strategy that is much more like informing, posting on social media, um, doing like our email marketing, hosting events and whatnot, and it's not been necessarily one-to-one. -one. So we're definitely trying more of like getting to know people in the community, reaching out, meeting people one-on-one, -on -one, heads of organizations, inviting them to host an event or a meeting at Flourish, collaborating with local organizations for networking and whatnot. So. I'm excited. It's challenging that like this is the week of the two year anniversary of us 
enduring through the pandemic and it's definitely been very challenging. It's definitely been a constant challenge of my ingenuity, innovation, strategy, marketing, all the things. Um, but it's taught me so much. It's really forced me to like be the very best entrepreneur that I can be. But yeah, so that's kind of like what we're doing with Flourish. Dean Street Law is booming, absolutely booming. We have tons of mergers and acquisition clients and contract clients and real estate clients and everything. Um, so that's amazing. And then the LD brand, the educational platform and everything, I'm working on like the behind the scenes of it, but it's definitely taken like a bit of a backseat because Dean Street Law has been so demanding and Flourish needs a lot of attention. So we also lost some like key hires that we thought we would be able to make. So LD brand, is like a little bit more on the back burner. And then of course we're starting Ethereal Farms. So four businesses, lots going on, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of what's going on and what my thought processes are. Maybe next time I'll do it sitting down and not hiking hills <laughs> because it's definitely like whew, a lot, um, but yeah, wanted to give you a little update. We're gonna finish up our hike and then go to Flourish and do some planting. So a little bit of spring activities here on the vlog. I feel like all of a sudden the fields have just become this glorious, beautiful green and all of a sudden things are sprouting. But I was just looking at the field and I was like, oh my goodness, this is incredible. I wish I was better at identifying flowers, but look how cute they are. Cute little plant babies. Yes, daffodils? Are these daffodils? Are you daffodils? You're cute. Yes? Oh, hello. <laughs> we are here at Flourish with my loves, Melia and Katie. We're having some fajitas. Ooh, yes, beautiful, that James made. So we're having some leftover fajitas before we do some arts and crafts. We're gonna be, Fresh. yeah, we're gonna be making like plant babies. We're gonna be planting plant babies, so that'll be fun. Melia, we just found out, is gonna be on American Ninja Warrior coming up. This is their third time. Third time on American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Stay tuned, I probably won't be on. <laughs> they do decide who they put on, so you never know from filming if you're actually gonna be on it. But she's competed in American Ninja Warrior three times, and then Katie is moving to Philly. Oh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, what have I done? But Not you're, American Ninja you're Warrior. Doing it too. What? You were on? Katie is our podcast editor, was our podcast editor, so if you listen to the We Grow Together podcast, which is linked in the description box and everything, Katie is the one who's behind the scenes making it all happen. So that's what Katie <laughs> is famous for. Famous, yes. But, but also, she do, you do so many things. You do CrossFit. She's the one who got me into CrossFit, and now I do it at my house by myself. That's why? That's crazy. And you shot? I couldn't do it by myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Doing <laughs> burpees. Like, quit. Yeah. Doing burpees by myself in the gym and everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So we're gonna you enjoy can meet our neighbors day. and invite them for your CrossFit. I don't have neighbors. You can meet Which your is, horses. I have animals. And Still, and and dog. Crit critters. Oh, can you get a video of Molly doing, doing like burpees? downward dog? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That would be incredible. Well, well, you guys know, the horses do yoga. You already horse yoga. Yeah. Oh horses. yeah. Exactly. Well, we're gonna enjoy. I swear to God, it's a song. I mean, they're singing in the rain. Uh, <laughs> trying to figure out a song. I have a grown day. Look yeah. at this. Beautiful. <laughs> so, are you guys gonna watch Harry Potter? The new Harry Potter movie? That's like. There's a new one? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Why don't you take a trash can? It's the, the Tales of Dumbledore. What is it? Mark something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the Fantastic Beasts and okay. find them. Okay, yeah, I haven't watched any of those. And there's yeah. a sequel, and this is the third one. This is the third, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's try some haunts. Two of Bridgerton. Mm -hmm. <gasps> When's season two of Bridgerton <laughs> coming out? Did you finish? We, 
the first episode. It's already out? Dang. Did you finish the first Stop. episode? Almost. <laughs> Almost <laughs> How is it? I like the first season better. Really? Yeah, because it's so characters. far though. You, can't, you have to give it time. Okay. So far, mm -hmm. I like the first one better. <laughs> oh, you're painting the inside. But they won't see the inside. You don't even know that. I love the celery. Isn't that a pretty color? Plus, you know, how can I walk through like, um, how can I walk through a paint section of the store and not come up with an art project? Like, is it physically possible? Actually, it might be easier to. You do like to go. I like what you did. Honestly, it looks good on that one. Thanks, pal. Yeah. Can we? With <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's just a million times. What was that? That was on camera too. It's a lot. It's a good job. <laughs> This has been so much fun. So we painted all the pots with these chalk colors. I'll link everything in the description box below, all of the like little planters and everything. If you guys wanna pick anything up, this is gonna be such a fun project. We're doing it as gifts, take home gifts for all of our events at Flourish. But if you had a bi bri bridal shower or baby shower or anything like that, that'll be so much fun. So we are now going to fill them up with some soil and then plant babies. And then I think we're gonna put, make them as like a centerpiece along here. Um, and of course, May Leah can take home as much as she would like. All of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, that'll be our next project. Trying to go to the bathroom in the garden. Look how pretty. These, what are these blue things, honey? It might be liriope. Liriope. Like a type of grass. And then what's the? What are these like purple things? I don't know until they come up. Oh okay. Whew, it's cold. It might be. A... You know, I'm not sure. Okay. It's snowing. The end of March and it's snowing. Yeah, you can PR over your lease, sir. No, sir, no running. These all were opening up and they closed up because it got so cold. Oh, I know. Yeah, that tree is going to be a gorgeous center for me. Yeah. I can't believe it's snowing, honey. It was supposed to rain, so better than that. What's that tree, honey? That pink flowering tree? Uh, cherry. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Yeah, anything that's flowering right now is probably cherry trees. Uh-huh, and are those daffodils? These are all dogwoods, those four trees going up the door. These little ones are? Yeah, those are daffodils. Those are daffodils? I was wondering that earlier. Daffodils. Barry, that's all you get. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> hey, 
Bear, you're hanging. You're hanging, hanging here. here. You're a good boy. Molly, good girl. Come on, let's go. Amber, um, let's go. <laughs> Ready, Mo? Right, bear, we'll see you in a bit. We love you, Bear. We love you, Bear. Bye, honey. Bye, little ones. Did a beautiful charcuterie board. Honey. You just oh. <laughs> honey, honey, you just put lights up in our hallway? Yeah, it was a little dark. That's so cute. I love it. Beautiful job. So I think you wanted to, you like it last year? Mm -hmm. I didn't put dressing on the salad. Oh. Okay. Honey, you have fans. Nah. Nah. We don't believe it. That's not a thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Our fan, though, it does I'm so happy. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, I didn't do as good a job, did I? Mm, I didn't do it tight enough. It looks all floppy. I'm sorry. I will redo it for you. At least it's still on there. I'm sorry, bunny. I'll get better. What are you two doing out? What's going on, littles? Let's go get you some dinner. I'll go get you some dinner. I'll go get you some water. I'll get you nice uh, hay. Set you guys all up for dinner. How's that sound? It seems like Dad needs to go find where you guys are getting out. Hmm. Yes. Hi, Miss Cleo. Hello, baby. I know. Let's get your brothers and sister. Oh, just your brothers. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. All the boys were stuck inside and the girls had gotten outside. That is hilarious. I love it. Yes, good job, babies. Yes, good job. I'll play you. Mom, you want to play? How much you want to bet? <laughs> it's her. It's your bet, Mary Lou. Oh, a dime. <laughs> I'll, pre I'll place a dime, raise you a quarter. Okay. Whoa. And now you have to show. Now you have to put a quarter in. Now, now you, you have to show. show. Ace. King. Yeah, Queen. Jack. Ten. Do you oh. have aces? Hmm. <laughs> I have three aces? No. Threes and aces. Or, no. You have three, three threes. I could have three threes. Mm hmm Yeah. I could have three threes, yes. But it's not going to beat But her. it's not going to beat you. Ooh! Because she has a three of a kind, but you should have a straight. Yeah. Are you sure? Now oh, you're dealing three of a kind doesn't beat two. Three of a kind does beat two pair. Two, a three of a kind beats two pair. Okay. Yes. And I had a pair to add to it. It doesn't matter. Oh. Those... I know. <laughs> you should be thanking me because I was <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful job. Really? First couple months, she could good. hardly get her to the second round of betting. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this weekend's vlog filled with all the homey things and spring things, some plantings, getting together with friends, having a poker night. And by the way, I didn't tell you, I absolutely swindled everyone at poker night. I just like, I went away for the night with $22.90. Everybody else had like $6 left. 
Um, so it was so much fun. My sister's still in town, so I'm going to be visiting her. But I have some more adventures to show you guys. We are currently working on the downstairs to be laundry room. So if you want to like and subscribe for more and I will see you in our next video, which we'll pick up right this moment.